it's devastating. It's devastating to see how my brother went out, you know, and there's no answers to it. There's no answers, no answers. Elaine Marks Bell lost her brother on Christmas Day 2019. 61-year-old Jimmy Marks was shot and killed on a sidewalk along East 16th Street. Initially, police told the family they had leads, but no one came forward as a witness. Two and a half years later, the family is still waiting. You're just kind of out here wondering, where's the killer? What happened? You know, uh, this is going to be unsolved for, is it forever? Or, you know, you just, you just don't know anything. And that is the part of the grief that it just stays there. They the Marks family is hardly alone as homicides have risen again in Oakland in recent years. The clearance rate has fallen. In 2020, it dropped to about 47% and below the national average of 51.6%. The numbers across the bay, however, very different. The police department just announced the arrest of four suspects in homicide cases. With roughly twice the population of Oakland, San Francisco sees about half as many homicides, and the clearance rate has risen to 75%, well above the national average. And for that, San Francisco police credit two things. We have to have the staffing to do that. Uh, we also have to have community support. And what I'm acknowledging is that it won't be solved just by law enforcement, that this solution will have to be a collaborative approach. We need to care. Back in Oakland, police have long said they need more community help to both prevent and solve homicides. People don't talk. They're afraid to talk. It's hurtful, but it's not shocking that that's the way it happened, considering the relationship between the police and the community over there. We're talking about using technology like surveillance cameras and deploying those. We're talking about uh, addressing the witnesses, bringing more resources to uh, witness protection, to support folks, incentives uh, to come forward. Oakland Council Member Lauren Taylor says reducing violence will take long-term investments in communities, but short-term, he says solving murders can be its own form of violence prevention. Studies also show that when we have a higher solve rate, of these crimes, we have less retaliatory gunfire and it limits the increase in actual homicides and gun violence cases. So it all ties together. We are left with this gaping wound, this, this emptiness of what happened to our relative. Are we ever going to get justice? And the marks say the passage of time has been discouraging, but they're trying to stay hopeful that police or someone in the community will eventually move their case forward. It was just so, it, and it, today it's just hard to even talk about because um, it, it's just no justice for people that's trying to do the right thing out here. Both the Oakland and San Francisco Police Departments declined to speak on camera with us for this story. Now we've placed more information on clearance rates here in the Bay Area and around the country on our website, kpix.com. In Oakland, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.